to 10, the community and families impacted by the 2019 Oregon District mass shooting came together today for a remembrance event. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in the Oregon District with what this event means three years later. Allison. Yeah, Brooke, friends, families, and strangers gathered here in the Oregon District today. Now, today's remembrance event was not just about reflecting on the, the loved ones that were lost three years ago. It was a call for change and action. I'm happy that it rained because it washed away the, the evil and, and the hate that was on this street. So now we're about to surround it with nothing but love. And you Dion Green hosts this event every year since the shooting happened, but every year the pain of losing his father, Derek Fudge, is still there. And every day is hard, being in Buffalo, being in Uvalde. This is for the community and families to come together and celebrate their loved ones lost on the tragic night of August 4th, 2019. And you know, as I said, to heal as a community, but you can't spell community without unity. So we all have to come together and lean on each other's shoulders. For survivors of mass shootings and their families, they say even three years later, it doesn't get easier. Especially as mass shootings continue across the country. It's continuing to happen so much, it's hard to really recover. You know, you have your good days and your bad days, but because it can is continuing to happen so much in the community, there's no way to really get past it. For young Nayara Green, she says she misses having her grandfather around, but his loss has taught her a wise lesson. Don't give up on life. It's not it's not hard. Just push yourself. And those there say once the event is over, it's time to go out and make a difference. End gun violence. I hope it inspires others to take a step forward outside of their comfort zone. Um, align with their community and uh, just do something positive. And at the end of the event today, they also released 10 doves, nine for each victim of the shooting, and one for Dion Green's cousin, Deputy Matthew Yates. Live in the Oregon District, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.